Hello, my name is Thierry Dansereau, art director on Assassin's Creed Shadows. And I'm Charles Benoit, game director on Assassin's Creed Shadows. We are here today to share details on our first gameplay walkthrough for Assassin's Creed Shadows. Tori Gate are really iconic in Japanese culture and also very striking visually. So when the players see them, they will know there is something interesting to discover following that path. It can be secrets, it can be loot, uh, targets, everything that fuel your progression. Fukuchiyama, at last. We wanted to showcase one of the many castle towns that the game will have. In Assassin's Creed Shadows, you'll be exploring a dynamic and ever-changing open world, all of which is affected by dynamic seasons and weather system. The wildlife is now more than ever part of the game ecosystem and biomes. In Assassin's Creed Shadows, a lot of the game wildlife will evolve and change colors through seasons, and the player will even see puppies, ah, mostly in the springtime. Well, you are a friendly beast, are you not? The goal is to have a more natural behaviors and awareness systems. Psst. Samurai, sir, this way, I beg you. Such beauty, shadowed by suffering. You're about to see Yasuke in action. In that sequence, Yasuke is going to find one of his targets. What is happening here? We'll have a lot of targets to hunt uh, around Japan, and this uh, zip cam and celebration is used to highlight those moments when you find them. I told you, keep walking. Let's see some combat now. The notion of dynamism was also applied to our props that are, for most of them, breakable. Yasuke is using a cannibal, so it's a big, massive weapon, slow but uh, very impactful. It's the best weapon to break enemy's armor. It's also a good tactic to remove armor first because uh, it reduces the time to deal with your opponent. You can see the yellow bar under the enemy. Um, it represents the armor, and once it's broken, it's a lot easier to land it and inflict damage. Attacking and defending charge up your adrenaline meter. Once it's full, you can spend all those resources to push back or knock down or inflict damages, uh, and even uh, put uh, the enemy vulnerable. One of the big combat novelty is the posture system. You can hold your attack and posture at any moment inside a combo. Those attacks inflict massive damage and can also branch into execution. But of course, uh, if you use those attacks, you expose yourself. So the key is to really master the timing and learning and me behavior. In the end, your competency can give you an edge over your stats. Persecutor. Greed cannot rule this village. The players always have two weapons at the same time, so they can freely switch between both of them. Uh, you can see here, uh, Yasuke has uh, the classic katana, and he's using one of his unique moves, the sheeted attack. Now you can concentrate on the target. Uh, you can see the katana is a lot faster and versatile. Looking at the target, you see it's, he's a lot more reactive and defensive. Uh, if you're taking the posture like right now, he's also using one of his posture against you. So uh, it creates really this dance between the two, the two fighters. The enemy reactivity really pushed the player to use all his tools, so the parry, you need to react, you need to read the enemy to find the best opening and land the posture attacks when it's best. Yesuke and Awe have their own personal story and their own life. But once they allied, they cooperate to achieve the common objective. Too slow. It means you can also switch at any moment in the open world. Of course, not during uh, the infiltration or when you're fighting, but otherwise the players can really choose the character they want at any time and uh, choose how they want to play them. We should go. Not before we send our allies to look for him. In this sequence, Yasuke is uh, suggesting to use the spy network. It's a new system that we introduced in Assassin's Creed Shadow to support the Shinobi fantasy and help the player to find uh, their objective. So you can send your spy to scout areas and spot your targets or uh, the quest objective you have. Sometimes we have both characters in the cutscene where you can pick the one who answer or ask questions. At the end, you can also pick the character you want to continue with. You can choose uh, between Naoi being more stealth oriented or uh, Yasuke being a bit more focused on fight. 
Be careful in there. Don't worry. I won't be alone. It'll be me and the shadows. From this point, we are now away inside the Fukujiyama Castle. Feudal Japanese castles are amazing playgrounds as they offer a lot of opportunity to play in them in a stealth way or rather in a fight oriented. In the following sequence, you can see what's new in terms of parkour and stealth. At first, our grappling hook, it's fully physics based, so your speed and direction can affect where you go. You can also assassinate from the grappling hook, as you can see now. We brought back the cover system to sneak and peek, so you can use your tool from there, you can also observe your surrounding. Uh, you can now use prawn and crawl in tall grass, so you can hide, you can go under uh, small openings, so it's really uh, useful to, uh, to sneak around. You're mine now, snake. But one of the big novelties is the dynamic perception of the enemies. They are affected by light and shadow. So here you can see now we can break the light, enable to vanish and reduce the detection time, so uh, it's a lot easier to quickly move undetected. The weapons of Nauer are great for combat, but also for stealth. Each weapon has a specific type of assassination. Like here with the Kuzargama, you can also assassinate your enemy, but at range. With Nawe, you'll feel like a shinobi with all the new animation we added to make her a lot more agile and faster when doing parkour and everything she does, basically. Nawe is an agile, self-focused shinobi who will use noise, light and shadows to evade detection as enemies respond to their changing surroundings. Now we is currently making our way to reach our target. She's going through some elite samurai houses, okay. and as she progresses, the, pro the player will see and discover other iconic areas of the castle, such as the Daimyo Quarter. The grappling hook can be also used to grab enemy which is very useful to move them quickly and dispose of them in the better spot. It's much more efficient than uh, just carrying dead body, for example. It's giving the player the option to decide if they want to kill or not. We have a couple of abilities. Uh, we have gear, we have weapons that can bring down enemies until they are wake up by other people. Like you saw with the Kuzargama, the katana also have special assassination. You can stab people through shoji door and stay mostly silent. So depending on the weapon you have equipped, you have a different assassination opportunity. He's coming. I need to hide. In interior, there are place to hide, but one of the cool ones is the beam that you can use to grapple on the ceiling. It's really useful to uh, not being spot, of course, but to also wait for an opportunity to assassinate. Here we saw a sudden weather state change that triggered a thunderstorm. The noise and the rain and the wind cover your footstep and also your action. The demo is in spring, but in winter the old pan will be frozen. So you can't use the same tactic. You will have to use prone in deep snow or use the kunai to deal with the target at distance. Another cool shinobi trick you can see is now way using the breathing stick. With that you can stay hidden on the water and wait for the perfect opportunity to assassinate or just sneak around. If you're detected, you can choose to escape to return to your stealth loop or go straight in combat. And now he's choosing combat with the Kuzargama, a versatile weapon that can use the cycle in one hand and the weighted chain in the other, allowing some range and melee fight depending on your attacks. In this case, the player decided to escape after many guards joined the fight even if Nawe can be very deadly, she doesn't have a strong armor like Yasuke, so it's a lot more risky when you fight multiple enemies at the same time. Anyway, in this case, she already achieved her objective. She killed the Demio, so all is fine. We just saw the infiltration at night with Nawe. You can also imagine the other option of taking Yasuke and breaking through the front door. Day, night, weather, even season can affect the challenges on your path. Thanks for watching, we hope that you've enjoyed this presentation. Assassin's Creed Shadows will be launching on November 15, we can't wait for you to play it.